<laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Tip number one, experiment with crowdfunding. And what crowdfunding is essentially is an online individual giving campaign. And what you're doing is you're asking lots and lots of people to each donate a small amount of money. And why it's so good is that you're not only bringing in much needed income for your organisation, but you're also increasing buy-in with your audiences. You're making them really feel involved with your organisation. And also, those people are then quite likely to spread the word on social media that they've donated. So your donations can increase exponentially that way. And we're already starting to see some real success stories from film festivals and cinemas who've experimented with crowdfunding. My next tip is to approach corporate sponsors. And if you can't get cash, get stuff. So anything that you can get in kind, such as free advertising, drinks, even a venue, maybe transport, that's gonna relieve some strain on your budget. And it's a lot easier for sponsors to donate things in kind rather than cash. So go through your budget line by line and identify those items that you could ask a business to donate. Look to Europe. If you show a high proportion of European films, you may be eligible for a grant from the European Union's media programme, which will be called Creative Europe from 2014. If you're a festival, you could apply to the Audiovisual Festivals Fund, and that could provide you a grant towards costs such as subtitling, bringing European filmmakers over to your festival, film transport. If you're a cinema, you may be eligible to become a member of the Europa Cinemas Network, and they can provide subsidy towards showing European films. And if you don't have the required number of screens to apply, then you could join a mini network, such as those operated by the ICO or Film London, and they'll do the admin for you. My next tip is not to underestimate the commercial opportunities of culture. It can be easy to forget when you're working in the thick of it, but film is an exciting, glamorous world for other people that they want to be a part of. So have a think about what experiences you can offer people apart from going to the cinema. What about things like a VIP party or behind the scenes tour, a one-to-one -one with your programmer? Those kinds of experiences can be really, really appealing to people and you could potentially charge quite a bit of money, especially to businesses, to experience those things. And also think about what products you can sell to people apart from tickets and popcorn. So could you offer books or branded merchandise? Could you work with local designers to create some really interesting products? And have a look at a website such as culturelabel.com and there you can get some really great inspiration for what other cultural organisations are selling in their shops. My top tip is ask not what your funders can do for you, but what you can do for your funders. And this applies whether you're working with public funders, corporate sponsors, individual givers. It's easy to get caught up just thinking about yourself and what your organisation needs in terms of money. But your funders have needs too. They're under particular pressures, they have priorities. So if you can help them to fulfil their objectives, then you're much more likely to develop a fruitful relationship.